Hi, my name's Bob Lindy. I'm an acupuncture physician and registered herbalist. Today I'm going to talk to you about herbal remedies for postmenopausal perspiration. What many people think of as night sweats and hot flashes, although in some cases women have just almost a constant sweating that's going on. So there's a number of different herbal remedies. But first it's important to ascertain exactly why this excessive sweating is going on or if it's just the usual night sweats and hot flashes that go on as the women transition through a hormonal change, either the decline of estrogen and oftentimes the decline of progesterone. But there's many herbal approaches that can effectively address this. But it's best to actually evaluated from a trained herbalist who's dealt with these types of issues before because there's many different combinations that can be effective. The easy answer is regular garden sage can be made into a tea and will address any type of sweating, but it doesn't address the underlying disorder that's the imbalance of the estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone that's going on. But one of my favorite ways to approach any type of transition through normal life processes, menopause, is through the Chinese herbal formulations. And these are based on a very specific diagnosis that a trained Chinese herbalist can go through. So find your local acupuncture and Chinese herbalist. But two of the formulas that they're most likely to prescribe, at least as a starting point, is one of these two formulas, either Zhirbai Di Huang Wan, or Eight Flavors Tea, or Two Immortals, which is also known as Er Xian Wan. These are very specific as to the minor differences that people may adjust, but will have dramatically different effects when prescribed per correctly. They'll address not only night sweats, hot flashes, but many of the other issues that go on through the transition into menopause. So contact your local Chinese herbalist or a Western herbalist and allow them to do a thorough evaluation up to what's going on that's causing your postmenopausal perspiration and use your herbal formulations based on that specific disorder to help through that transition into postmenopausal life. This is Bob Lindy talking to you about herbal remedies for postmenopausal perspiration. So